What is going on everybody and welcome to a Python Reddit API wrapper or pro tutorial series. Uh, if you don't know what Reddit is, Reddit is just a place with, um, well, welcome to the internet. <laughs> so anyway, reddit.com is like a, it's almost like a forum for a, just pretty much any contextual information. So there are basically just a bunch of subreddits that comprise Reddit. And then a subreddit is basically the contextual part where you've got subreddits for like Python, programming, um, news, politics, technology, just pretty much everything you can think of. And if you can't think of it, you can make your own subreddit for it. So anyways, um, that's reddit.com. If you don't have an account, go ahead and sign up. Just fill out the form and all that. I already have a, um, an account for this tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Um, it is pro tutorial. Password is um, cookies. Don't hack me. So now we're going to go uh, to preferences. Once you've created an account, go to apps and then go ahead and create an app. And this app needs to be a script and then we can give it a name. I'm just going to call it pro tutorial. Good stuff. Tutorial. And we're going to say in the description, uh, tutorial on le pro, pro, pro. Thank you. <laughs> and then for this, we'll just do Python programming.net. Cool. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and create an app. And then here is your uh, client ID. And then this is your secret. I'm going to move this over for now, but we'll, we'll be, that's useful information that we're going to need um, momentarily. So um, what we're going to be using is pra. So this, these are the documents for pra. You should just, it's a pip install pra. So if you need to get it, just pip install pra. Um, and these are the documents, but if you if you just search for like pro on Google, you'll probably get documentation for 3.6. What you actually want to get is just the, the latest documentation. So if you do go through the documentation, just make sure it's the latest one because lots of things have changed. So anyways, moving this aside, in fact, I think I might even just close this. I think I'm all done with it. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, open up here, pro tutorial. Make sure it fits on my page. And we're just going to like do like a really quick example of querying some information. So let me make sure this fits. Cool. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is um, we need to import pra. And then once we've imported pra, we've got to like set up a, like a Reddit instance, basically. So I'm going to say Reddit equals um pra dot reddit for reddit instance and then you're going to need um client id client secret and we should probably say equals we're going to fill these in in just a moment um and then you need a username password and a user agent i'm not sure why you have to have a user agent but you do I think. So client ID is what I just showed you guys a moment ago. So this is my client ID right here. This, this, boom. Um, secret right here. Username is pro tutorial, pro tutorial. Password was cookies. Um, user agent, I mean, you can put anything in here, so I'm not really sure. I, I'm pretty sure at one point, like, I've used just the straight Reddit API before, and you actually had to have just anything in the user agent, but I'm not really sure why it's required. Anyway, there you go. So now we've got our little Reddit instance, and we are uh, ready to do stuff with it. So, for example, um, like I was saying before, Reddit is comprised of a bunch of subreddits. So let's go ahead and specify a subreddit. So we're going to say subreddit equals uh, reddit.subreddit. And the subreddit we're going to choose is Python. Now, let's say we want to, because like I was showing you guys before, like if we go um, to reddit.com, uh, here we go, Python's right here. Um, you can see like you can sort things in different ways. Like hot is a combination basically of votes to time. Um, new is just purely time. What's the newest first? Kind of like a forum or something like that. Rising is just stuff that is rising quite quickly. Controversial is just anything that has a combination of lots of upvotes and downvotes. Um, top is I think just 
just votes and possibly time. I'm actually not positive what the difference between hot and top is. If someone wants to post below what the difference between hot and top is, let me know. It's definitely ordered by votes, for sure. Um, maybe it just favors votes slightly more, but as you can see, you don't really see too many more. Maybe top... Oh, this is top from the last 24 hours. Okay, so then we could say top from the past year, for example. Um, yeah, and like, these are just like top posts from everyone in the last year. Cool. So, oh, who's this? Look at this cool guy. Anyway, uh... <laughs> So you can do like any of these uh, that you wanted. Now, actually, I'm not positive how to do this. You could probably check the documents, though, for how to do this next, like links from XYZ. Anyways, we're going to look for just hot. So we're going to say hot Python equals subreddit dot hot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of go through these. So, for example, we could say um, like like dot hot. I forget what the default is. I don't know if it's like 30 or 200 or I don't know what the default number is, but you can also pass in a limit here. So you can say limit equals one. So that will just return the, the hottest Python information at the moment. So what we can do now is iterate through whatever the, the return is. So this is one, but we could say, I don't know, five. So for, um, for submission in hot Python, we can just let's print that submission and see what we what we what we're working with at the time. Okay, so here are the submissions. So these are basically your IDs. So this is a thread ID for whatever these topics are. We don't really know too much more about them. Now, um, I happen to know it's an object. You might not know it's an object. It could just be an ID. So I mean, with with any module, if you like. If you don't really like reading docs, you can just do dir, and that'll give you all the attributes. So, for example, this is going to put out a lot of dir, but anyway, <laughs> let's just go up to the top. So, this is like one of the durs. We should have just done one. But anyways, here you can clearly see, okay, here, see, like, these are a bunch of dunders up here. But as you come down here, we can see right away, like, okay, approved, when, or whatever. Um, and a lot of this stuff is like, you know, okay, when was it created, created UTC delete which it would have to be yours you'd have to have the rights to delete it um but you can get um I'm trying to find something useful here that's typical like you can reply to it um you can check how many upvotes it has you can upvote it although don't do that as a bot um you can grab the title anyway i'm not going to focus too much on that but anyways if you want to like you can just kind of like go through all the things but so for example let's just grab the title so print rather than dir submission and rather than submission, which is just the ID, but it's actually an object, uh, we can reference dot title. So the at, like just with anything in Python, the attribute dot title um, should be populated. Now, pretty much everything you see in um, in the pro that has, you know, basically it's a function call, you can pretty much guess that's going to be yet another API call that so that data might not exist just yet. So let's go ahead and run that again. And there you go. So you've got um, the first five. So this one's uh, the official job board. Uh, what's everyone working on this week? And if we go um, here, let's go too hot. We'll see that <clears throat> these are not actually like these are um, these are stickies. So we we might not actually want those, right? We we, we might not be interested in that information. So one of those uh, things was um, one of the attributes rather is stickied. So it's a, just a, a Boolean value. So for example, we could say if not submission.stickied, stickied, print submission.title. So now we should just get the non-stickied ones. So there you go. So um, I guess these just kind of look, it should just be three. I think it's just because of wrapping, yeah. So anyways, um, even though we, we went through five, we still, uh, we only posted the title to three of them because those first two were just stakies. So, um, so now we can get all kinds of other information on them. So like rather than just submission.title, we could, we could get all kinds of stuff. Like for example, we could say, you know, um, title, semicolon, ups, uh, not semicolons, curly braces. Um, downs, which honestly downs doesn't seem to work. Um, we'll see that soon enough, but, um, have we visited, visited curly brace. Um, now 
dot uh, format, and then at, just same as before, submission dot title, submission dot ups, submission dot downs, submission dot visited. Cool. So we'll run that again. Okay, so for example, title um, guide on how to create a Twitter bot with Python. Sorry, it's a little bit off screen, but hopefully you can still see it. But anyways, it says visited false. Well, let's see what happens if we um, click on it here. I can't remember if you view, view the comments or not. Surely it would still, it would say you visited, but let's find out. <gasps> it still says false. Maybe I got to actually click the link. I don't know. click on it let's try again let's try again uh, the other thing I wanted to point out was the ups and downs they're kind of funky okay it still says we haven't visited I swear I've tested that in the past and it was fine maybe you have to visit it via the API I don't know anyway um, literally everything has downs to zero unless it's in the negatives so Maybe the pro hasn't like updated to like a new change in the subreddit API. I really don't know. Um, anyways, on any submission, um, you can get all kinds of information. You can do all kinds of stuff. So just as some examples, um, you know, here we just grabbed a bunch of information. But you can also, you can do all kinds of things. You can take action. So you can do like upvote, right? You can do dot downvote. Although as a bot, again, you wouldn't do that. The only times you should really use these commands are like if you make some sort of Reddit, like a phone app or something like that, and it's like a human that decides to do it. Um, so that's doing this would be like against the terms of service, basically. Um, you can reply. Um, there's nothing in the uh, docs that says uh, a robot can't apply. Reply, sorry. Um, and then you can also subscribe and unsubscribe. So at least some things that we could do, we could make a reply. I just don't really know what to reply, but we can also subscribe. So for example, we could say subreddit dot uh, subscribe, and that should subscribe us um, to the Python um, subreddit. Let's go ahead and run that real quick. It still says we haven't visited. It's irritating, but let's see if we subscribed at least. So uh, initially, we were not subscribed to the Python subreddit. We are subscribed. We could, um, I think we should get away with this, subreddit.unsubscribe. And now, if we were to uh, refresh this page, we need to subscribe. I swear, I haven't drank all my coffee this morning, so let's subscribe one more time. I'm pretty sure it said unsubscribe, but the button, I don't think, changed color. Uh, that's what's tripping me up right now. Usually it's like red or green. Uh, yeah, okay, now we have an unsubscribe. I'll have to go back and look at the video and see if it said. Anyway, we have subscribed. <laughs> Did I do just a dot? No, I actually ran it, so I don't know. Should have subscribed, but that's weird because it was like it never changed color. Um, or at least I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I might be losing my mind, but anyway. Um, okay, so that's like a quick kind of introduction to the Python Reddit API. From here, you could just read documents or use dir and attributes and maybe figure a bunch of stuff out on your own. Otherwise, in the next tutorial, we're going to be kind of going through and really honing in on actually navigating uh, like the comments because navigating the comments is um, significantly more challenging than navigating um, the just submissions right the submissions are always ordered very nicely whereas comments are like in tree form um it's kind of a recursion problem uh and it can just kind of be a little more challenging so anyways that's what we're gonna be doing in the next tutorial if you got questions comments concerns whatever feel free to leave them below otherwise i'll see you in the next tutorial